Welcome to the 2022 Wheelchair Comparison, brought to you by the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation and Gold Pictures. Now keep in mind, everyone has their own needs and requirements, so look out for what's best for you. The Tylite TR is made of titanium dual tubes, so it's great for looks and for performance. TI it was lightweight, it was uh, easy to maneuver. Tylite has an awesome option for their chairs called tattooed finishes, which are not stickers, it's tattooed imprints on the chair's finish. The Quickie Nitrum has a really cool feature that's a headlight, so you'll never be in the dark. I tried the red Nitrum Quickie, and I really liked that chair. I thought it was really easy to use, really lightweight, um, I think easier than the chair I have now. I know we're comparing wheelchair features, but if you want to see a website that's off the charts, go look at Sunrise Medical. Their Nitrum chair allows you to visually see your chair before you get it. It has a 3D visualizer where you can add your colors and your features, and then you know what you're gonna get before you get it. This is a RGK Octane Sub 4. Sub 4 meaning that it is sub 4 kilos, uh, which equates to less than 8.8 .8 pounds for the transport weight of the chair. As we said, the weight of manual chairs is probably the most important criteria. My first custom made chairs, chair I'm using now, and that I got a year and a half ago. And before that, I was just using an off the shelf chair since high school. You know, most measurements are taken to a one inch increment. With RGK, we can take those measurements to a quarter of an inch increment on every single measurement. So the Octane FX by Sunrise, I think is really cool because it folds down into just a really small, compact space, which would be great for, I think, travel. This is new to the U.S. market, and it's a rigid chair that actually folds into a very compact size. Most of the manual chairs have a similar warranty, but make sure that you thoroughly investigate warranties when buying a new chair. Another product offered by Promobile is a smart drive. It's a power assist device. It has wearable options so that you can control it from your wrist and also touch switches that are on the chair, which take a little bit of getting used to. Yeah, this would have been super helpful while I was in New York. Just because there you're, you're always pushing and out and sometimes sidewalks are uneven, so you're using one arm more than the other and you get tired out easier. I used it the first time when it was just like a, a band. The way you would control it, you would kind of tap this band uh, the system that I used just now, there was some buttons that were placed on these bars here and they're, they were pretty confusing. I feel like it took a lot of practice for me to kind of get into the like, oh, tap once, tap twice, hold. Uh, but I feel like after a few minutes of kind of practicing, it got easier. I think it is important to have the option to be able to just add something to your manual chair because I don't really need a power chair, but maybe just to have like that extra boost to help me out. Some people have partial paralysis and they can walk with some assistance. For them, exercise is very important. So I think the zine, I, I thought uh, when I walked, I liked how it kept me up and kept my walk a little bit smoother. Um, I liked how it kind of kept my hips forward as well. I didn't feel like, you know, usually a lot of times I feel like I have a fear of falling back, but I didn't have that fear because obviously the seat's there and then I also had the handles uh, in front of me. So that made me not be afraid of falling forward either. Uh, for me, I felt like it was just one of those things I just need to get used to. I just got to keep playing with it and then I think everything will smooth out because even as I continued to walk with it, I felt like it was getting better and better and better, you know? So uh, I did like that about the zine. Um, and also I used it to go to the bathroom and I was wondering maneuverability wise if it was going to be able to fit in the bathroom very well or not and it did. It, it, I got around pretty easy and I was able to use the bathroom and wash my hands and then turn it all the way around and get out and into a small um, you know, residential bathroom. So uh, that, that, that was great. If I was really trying to focus on uh, getting my walk cleaner, smoother, I think I would do the zine. 
Uh, as for the linker, I felt like that was fun to, to, to play around on. I felt like sitting on it um, was easier to sit and scoot. As I was scooting, I was scooting with both legs on the linker. That felt like faster for me right now, and I felt like I would get a good core workout with it. I felt like, you know, get some good quad muscle workouts uh, with it as well. So I probably would use the linker, you know, to push and scoot and work on those core muscles and leg muscles a little bit more. If I had seen a wheelchair comparison like this one before getting my chair, it would have been so helpful. I just had no concept of what types of chairs were available to me before I got my own chair. Thanks for watching our review on the best chairs in the market. The Wheelchair Comparison Web Series, brought to you by the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation and Gold Pictures. Thank you.